it's soft. It's very soft. And here I thought happy endings were the things that existed in the back of massage parlors. Actually, my happy ending is this Cajun spatula right here, dude. Cajun spatula and Schweinhoxen, dude. Oh my God, bro. Look at how delicious this is. What's the first thing that comes to mind when you think of Munich, Germany? There were a lot of things that I thought of initially when I heard about it and I'd never visited before. I heard that the people were pretty wealthy and whatnot and prestigious, so they kind of looked at other people a bit different, maybe a bit judgy. That's what I had heard about Munich. I'd also heard that the architecture was very awesome, but again, very, very, very expensive. When I got there, some of those stereotypes seemed to be true, but one of them for sure, in my opinion at least, was definitely wrong. It was about the people. The people were absolutely sweet. Now, obviously, I've only been there for a little bit, so I can't completely write off the fact that, you know, maybe people were right, you know, when they were telling me about Munich and whatnot. But the architecture was absolutely breathtaking. And this was the third day, like what you're seeing today, is the third day of me being in Munich. Now, the first day was pretty cool because we made the Gipfel Kreuzes and then we wound up seeing a little bit of Oktoberfest and then you know kind of walking around and seeing some of the city parts but nothing major nothing iconic the second day we got to actually enjoy ourselves in Brandenburg getting later hosen for Oktoberfest and then we spent the rest of the day at Oktoberfest going crazy and whatnot and I'm like man we still need to see at least one or two monuments in Munich before I leave so the third day uh, was a very interesting day we started off by actually visiting the company that actually sponsored this whole trip, Y Food. So we took a little look around the headquarters and whatnot, got real acquainted with the staff, the owners and everything. It was very, very cool. So actually, I think yesterday we wound up walking down this very street to get to Oktoberfest. You can see that building over there. It has like a cross on the top. It took that giant like ride over this set of buildings is actually where um, we were at Oktoberfest. And these are all the people. If you look closely, you can see some of them in there. Shocked bro. Which was a culture shock to me because I had been told time and time again that Lederhosen and Dirndl did not represent, you know, Germany at all and blah, blah, blah. And here I was looking at copious amounts of people wearing their Lederhosen and Dirndl. Anyways, we had to get ready for a Zungenbrecher. So rate my Aussprache. Sure, okay. <coughs> I'll say it slow. <clears throat> Fischer's Fritzer Fischer, Frischer Fischer, Frischer Fischer. Fischer Frisches Fritz Fritzer. Oh, damn. Fischer Fritzer Fischer Frischer Fischer Frischer Fischer Fischer Fischer's Fritzer. <laughs> okay. Ah, wenn du denkst, du denkst. Dann denkst du nur, du denkst. Aber denken tust du nie. When you when you think when you think or like how, how you think you think or if you think you think, then think you only that think you only. Th oh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm very grateful to be able to have done something like this because I would not have been able to see as much of Germany as I have seen in such a short period of time had that not happened. So again, thank you so much. This looks really good. Oh, you guys have bars? Oh my God, okay. <laughs> okay, so definitely something I wasn't expecting from this company was the little, uh, you know, protein slash meal bars. Very, very delicious, honestly. I was like, I didn't expect them to even make something like that, but I should have known better, you know what I mean? So coconut flavor was my ultimate fit flavor because you know your boy loves coconut. But um, yeah, I would advise trying it. It was good. But now next, we wind up seeing something very interesting. So there's a cathedral that resides in Munich. It's a big, bright yellow building with a black top on it. And my friend wanted me to check this out and at least get to see it in person because it's one of the most beautiful sites in Munich, arguably. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are here in Munich. I don't know what that castle building is in front of me, but we're about to get some traditional German food, specifically Käse Spätzle. I've been bitching and moaning all day about the fact that I haven't had Käse Spätzle in Bayern yet. And they're like, you know what? Let's make that happen for you. Let's go get you some Käse Spätzle in München. So we're actually walking to a spot right now that sells traditional German food. And we're gonna get ourselves some Käse Spätzle, bro. Again, this is around the same time period that Oktoberfest is happening. So there's gonna be a lot of people in Trachten and Dundle, later hose and all that good stuff. Let's see what happens. 
and let's see if this cage of spatula is all it's capable to be. I had some in Nordlingen for the first time. That was the very first place I've ever had cage spatula was Nordlingen. So W Nordlingen for that. But now we're gonna head to a place over here, somewhere over in this area, and uh, rate the cage of spatula brand. Key, I, I've said this before, and um, an earlier portion of these recordings that this part of Munich, some parts of Munich remind me of Berlin a little bit, but prettier. Like, if like the Soviet Union decided to do something pretty with their buildings and shit, this is nice, this is fire. This is fire. Okay, so quick question. What is the purpose of those pipe thingies that are going across the tops of the street and like in the middle of the city and whatnot i i saw it and i was observing it it looks like a pipe system but it could be a gas system of some sort what is the purpose of that and why is it elevated in the middle of the street somebody let me know in the comments down below that's uh, that's the Maximilian Street. It's, uh, it's a famous street in Munich. Wow, it looks beautiful. Yeah, it's like the, the rich street, you know. The wealthiest street in. Yeah, Germany. yeah. Of course, yeah. We have like millionaires uh, and stuff. Ralph Lauren, uh, oh, um, Balenciaga, Balenciaga, everything. This is insane. Tom Ford. Yeah. And um, yeah, so. The, the, the buildings are also super cool. Like yeah. they, they have like the details in this. Uh... The designs are pretty crazy. Yeah. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I, I, it looks very very upscale. It looks like not German, right? Not, well, actually, it does. It looks super German. With the oh, little, uh, yeah. The, the flags. Are like, oh my gosh. But but the building uh, himself. Yeah, the buildings look more Soviet looking. Yeah. You yeah. know, like the tall buildings with the the windows and stuff like that. I've never seen so many super big windows stacked, stacked on top of each other. Yeah. Normally they're a lot tinier and whatnot, but it looks very Wilhelm-y, dude. Yeah, yeah. Very Ludwig-y, dude. I've seen similar things in bigger cities, I guess, but not like this. Do you know uh, Hotel Fias? Uh, Is it a seven-star hotel or something? Is Kapinski München is very famous, yeah. Super famous, yeah. What? All the, when, when a star uh, comes to Germany, yeah. He is, uh, they the, stay there. Yeah, they stay there. Oh my gosh. So, <laughs> like G Wagon here, uh, Bentley there. So, what? it's super, super wealthy. Insane. You know what that means, guys? We gotta run those numbers up. I'm trying to stay at the hotel, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, we're gonna try some traditional German food and uh, rate it on a scale of 1 to 10. <laughs> well, you have to film, uh, you come to a place. Yeah. Uh, then you have to film. Okay, for sure. Remember that yellow building we talked about earlier? That's actually where we were headed to, and I was incredibly excited. My heart was pounding, I was also hungry a little bit, and I was ready to see this absolute masterpiece. A friend had been telling me about this for the majority of this trip, especially in this day, and I was like, man. <laughs> Again, I thoroughly appreciate the architecture when it comes to Munich specifically. I mean, there are a lot of traditional looking buildings, but there is a lot of intricacy that when it comes to the architecture. It's kind of a little similar to Hamburg in many ways, but it's very much its own thing. I was taking it all in. It was absolutely breathtaking, so um, something I'll remember for the rest of my life. A new objective is getting to the red and black building. Uh, the yellow and black building. It's on the other side of these buildings over here. You can't see it from here because we are at a different angle, but when we get there, we're going to appreciate it. Dude, Munich looks insane. There's so many sides to Munich too. We saw one side and I'm like, ah, okay. But obviously like any city, there's several different slices to the pie, several different perspectives, POVs and whatnot. So super excited about it, man. Oh, hey, what's going on, man? Oh my God, James Bray? Yo, oh my God. Oh Mr. my God, it's James Bray! It's Mystery Blue! <laughs> hey, so we're gonna go see that big yellow building, even though I'm hungry and I want something to eat. <laughs> Case the is on my mind. <laughs> Looking building. Dude, this building better be fucking worth it, dude. I'm so fucking hungry. Oh my God. And little did I know, the experience would be worth it. I mean, oh my gosh. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. But my friend was very well versed because of course, he's from Munich. 
and he knows exactly what the vibes is like. Okay, apparently whatever this building is is gonna be super massive. I see this. Hold on. Holy shit, dude. What the fuck? This is huge. God damn. Jesus Christ. Yo. <laughs> this is massive. Oh, they're, they're, they're doing a concert here, man. They get hella clicks doing a concert here. Bro, what? Two words. Un- real look how bright that yellow is on the building it looks like it was painted literally yesterday i can't believe stuff like this exists uh do you know what uh, this means <laughs> oh this the this, like concert thing yeah bro what the fuck this is insane bro whatever they're about to do over here is about to go crazy i think they're doing like a mini oktoberfest here they got wooden i've never seen wooden porter potties in my entire life dude this is it's like the the only field because only field is like uh they uh, study at uh, university oh what the heck oh in that direction i thought you were in the porter potties i'm like oh uh, <laughs> they study inside the bathrooms but, but for me the the coolest building holy fucking shit yeah you're right this is insane, especially that centerpiece right there with the angels and the, the Bavarian like thing or whatever the fuck, yeah. that shit. Oh my God, dude. That's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Holy fuck, this is, and then they're doing a concert here. So if you hear some background noise, that's exactly where it's coming from. Oh, dude, shout out to Julian for showing me this beautiful city of Munich, man. Monknen. <laughs> Hell yeah. This is sick. That's, is that Ludwig? Or like... Uh, this is... Ludwig? Uh, no, it's, it looks, it's a familiar face for sure. Yeah, it looks like... But... How, do you know uh, how, how he died? In a cereal or something? Yeah. Huh? Did he die in a cereal? In a cereal? Like, did he like... Go he, to... He died... He got murdered. He got murdered? Oh, yeah. oh shit. Someone said uh, he got pushed, like, there's like the Kims here. Yeah. And, uh, on, a, on this, uh, what is the name? Like, uh, this, like, the, like, a, like a little river or some shit, or like a lake? Or? They, they have a lake. Yeah. And uh, he, he washed, uh, washed his face or something. Yeah. Some, someone someone pushed. Him. Oh, they drowned him. Like they, yeah, yeah. they shoved him and drowned him while he was yeah. washing his face. But it's like a, a fury. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because they, did they find his body floating? Yeah, they, they didn't uh, know exactly how he died. But, uh, that made the most sense, honestly. Oh, so he had ops, man. Whoever that guy was, King King Ludwig or somebody. You guys know who we're talking about. Let me know in the comments down below. Oh, ha, huh, be cool. This is inside the uh, restaurant and whatnot. This is the menu, actually. Uh, it's called Spaten. Spatenhaus on the Opel. Um, four Speisen, you got like Spatenhaus as a. All right, now this is the moment you guys have all been waiting for. We finally made it to a traditional German restaurant, and I was going to accomplish my goal of trying Käse Spatzler, Schweinhoxen, and Knudel in this restaurant. I had never tried it in Bavaria before. I guess technically I did in Nördlingen as far as the Käse Spätzle goes, but I have never in my entire life tried Knödel and I've never tried, well, I, get, I guess I did try Schweinhoxen as well in Cologne, but it's different in the South. Everybody told me German food is different in Bavaria. So I was about to get that experience and more. So stay tuned. Sure. I'm a Schweinhoxen. Yeah, uh, Hoxen. Uh, with the uh, potato uh, Canoe, yeah, 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 yeah. Or, or, or the, the salmon Uh, honestly. It's, it's come with two Yeah. 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 Einmal Kartoffeln, einmal yeah. salmon. Yeah, vielen Dank. Yeah. Too easy. This place looks beautiful. This is actually one of the, actually the nicest German restaurant I've ever been to. And I'm not just saying that. Up to this point, I've been to plenty of German restaurants, and this one easily is the fanciest one I've ever been to. So we're about to try the food. This is what the table looks like. Table of three for, you know, <laughs> hey, your boy eats a lot. I've lost weight here eating as much as I've been eating. I've been eating at least, like, I'd say 7,000 calories a day through beer and food combined, and I am still lean. I have not gained very much weight at all. I haven't gained any weight. I've lost weight. I weighed myself. I went from 
243 pounds to 235 pounds, bro. This is nuts. And here I thought happy endings were the things that existed in the back of massage parlors. Actually, my happy ending is this Cajun spatula right here, dude. Cajun spatula and Schweinhoxen, dude. Oh my God, bro. Look at how delicious this is. This, oh, and then the salad that comes with it. It doesn't get any better than this, man. It doesn't get any better than this. Oh, brother. Oh my God. Yo, 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 get, feel, me, feel me tasting this real quick. Bro. All right, first things first, I have to try the Cajun special. That's what this has been all about. All about, dude. So let me, uh, oh, bro. Oh, look at this. Oh, <laughs> yes. Mm. Oh my God. I could cry. This is so good. This is so good. This is so good. The onions, the crunchiness of, of like the flakes and stuff on top, and then the the whatever the garnish is in here, fire. And the cheese, bro. Oh, the cheese. Oh, let's get into this real quick. Oh, you listen to the crunch. Oh, dude. All the sauce and stuff. Oh, we gotta try this. Oh, and it's very, very, very soft on the inside. Oh. I can die happily. Mm. 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 It's so good. Let's try one of these. Loser. Mm. It's like a dumpling. Like a little dumpling. Kind of. A little bit. Mm. In the sauce? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, this is good. Bro, this is fire. Oh my god. So, do I, I dip it in there? No, 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 just put them on the. Put this on here? Was this for me? For me? Uh, it's for me, but uh, it's okay. Okay, so put this like, with this. Uh, with, the, with, the, with, with this? Yes, cut this. Oh, cut it. Oh, what? Um, oh, this is good. What is that? Blau kraut. Oh, blau kraut, blad, blau kraut, blau kraut, blah blah blah. Yeah, this is really good. It's beets. It's like it's really sweet beets. Bro, thank you so much for taking me here. I'm gonna, listen, I'm gonna dream about this day for the rest of my life, literally. This is like the best thing that's ever happened to me. Best thing that's ever happened to me. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're at the restaurant. We ordered some uh, apple strudel, and uh, it's actually very packed with apples, and we got some uh, ice with it too. So we're gonna go ahead and try this right now. I've had it in America, and I've had it in a few restaurants in Germany, but I have not had it here, so we're gonna see if this se seems to be good. Apparently, this is their best item on their dessert menu, their Nachtisch menu, so let's try it out. Oh, it's soft. It's very soft. Mmm, it's warm. Mmm, oh my God. That's warm apple pie. Look, more cinnamony. Very spicy. Oh my god, let me get, get a piece of this. Ice cream with this. One big bite. Mm -hmm. And that's what heaven is. That is exactly what heaven tastes like. It's phenomenal. Ha, ha, ha.